thanks to World Right for organizing this uh, fantastic event and for allowing me to take part at a time when freedom of speech and thought are being treated with contempt, their erosion dismissed by some as a minor inconvenience or a necessary restriction on irresponsible ideas. At a time when officials are doing background deals to try to usurp the democratic intent of a national referendum. At a time when we can be locked down at a moment's notice by a government, but also by the dictatorial powers of the involved administrations, confined to barracks, told to hide away and isolate ourselves from friends and family and society. At a time when there is a dangerous dissolution of society, unemployment, economic collapse, poverty, homelessness, and previously preventable deaths are all on the rise. While we watch from our social isolation, too fragmented and disenfranchised to act. At a time when people are dying in the developing world due to the consequences of our lockdown, where interconnected livelihoods are being destroyed daily. And at a time when the remnants of those very economies will soon be denied any meaningful development as the environmental lobby suggests that progress, growth, industry, and mobility are to be reduced or stopped altogether. So I think it's about time we got as mad as hell and said, we're not gonna take it anymore. It's about time we raged against the restrictions and started to discuss, debate, to rage against the anti-democratic spirit of our time and to reclaim some of the freedoms that have been lost in the last 12 months. Freedoms that we so took for granted that we had few arguments to defend them when they were taken from us because we'd felt that there didn't need to be any need to hone those arguments. Now, before it's too late, we need to become re-energized. So this poem I'm about to read, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night by Dylan Thomas, is something to remind us, I think, of the transient nature of things and how they can be lost in an instant and the need to resist. It speaks to a life cut short, a life incomplete in its potential, and finally a life at its end. Dylan Thomas reminds us that we shouldn't accept finality even in death. Death shall have no dominion. It is a message of resilience. The poem points to the need to continue life, to strive to continue the fight for life and in life. It is of the moment we need to struggle against the fatalism that might otherwise envelop us. So do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end knew dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. <laughs>